Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Rush AI from doors in Scratch. So, first get your costume for Rush. I'll try to make this the shortest tutorial possible. Take whatever Rush you want, and then on your screen right there, drag it all the way to the edge. Right? Now... Make sure it's the only costume there. So, do wind flag clicked. Hide. Switch costume. Make a get switch costume to rush. So, yeah. Now, get rush the rush sounds that he makes. If you have them. I don't really have rush sounds, so I'm not going to do it, because I don't have the rush noises. So, one flag click, play sound, whatever rush you got, and then wait however seconds you want to give the player to hide. So wait three seconds. Show and make sure wherever you put it, put it on the edge. Make sure there's a go to block. So now put a show there, too. Why is it doing that? Okay, so now you'll have something like this. Now, after the three seconds and then show, move, repeat through ten times. What about? Okay, repeat to twenty times, move forty steps, and then you'll have something like that. And then right after that 20, hide it. So now, that's Rush. Now, let's get her background. So press show on the Rush. And then get your background. Make it a square. And make sure to line it up with the bottom of Rush. So if Rush is like right there. Make sure he's on top of the... Hold on. Oh my god, why is my thing being weird? Oh, no, 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 no. Getting so mad. Okay, make sure it's on top of the floor. So some like, yeah, make sure he's on top of the floor and he's not under it. So just change that. So I've gone to there, make him go on it. So that'd be it. And once you got like a floor and make sure that he goes to the top of it, you'll have some like that. Now let's color the floor. Let's make it wood color. Then let's get a background which will be maybe a little bit darker. Now as you can see our game looks a little better. I mean look at that. We got Rush. Now let's get the closet. The last thing we're going to need for a Rush AI also, if you don't know what a Rush AI is, it's basically like what like a monster would be like in a game. Basically like a gameplay of what it would be like. I don't know how to explain that at well, but it's the closest I can get to it. It's basically like a game that's like an example of how a monster 
or how something, what something would do in the game or something. Don't know how to explain it that well. Make it a 35. Now they've got the closet. We will have. Make sure Rush goes to front layer. Now you shall have that. Now let's make it so the closet works, which is the hardest step of all, but it's actually the easiest. It's the hardest step of the easiest tutorial. It's it's not super easy, but it's pretty easy. So when this, we're gonna have to make one variable. Name it cl closet. I need. I said closet. Oh no 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 no! We do not want a cloud variable. <laughs> closet. Now, when sprite clicked, you hear me? When sprite click, shoot shoot shoot! Oh my god, my battery is gonna die. Um, I might have to cut. I have to go do something. But okay, once you get the closet variable. You're going to want to do set closet to one. Now, get a, go to front layer, one flag clicked, go to back layer. And then show. When this sprite click, set closet to one. I'm gonna get a sound. So, now one set to two. Copy this. Oh, and paste it. And then, once you got two costumes, make like something like this. The inside of a closet. So, when the sprite clicked, start sound closet, switch costume to two. When flight click, switch costume to one. Now, now, when the sprite clicked, again, if else, when the sprite clicked, if closet equals one. Start sound closet. Switch costume to costume one. And set closet to zero. Else, just put this there. So now. Done. So now. Let's do this. All you have to do for the final step, guys. Get an if. A stop all. So if closet equals. If closet equals zero. Stop all. Put that in the repeat 20 and. It stopped all, but now, watch this. Now, you might be like, wait, that doesn't work. But, because he goes in front of the closet, well, you're going to want to do this. When the spread clicked, if closet equals one, start sound, closet, add in, add in, go to back layer, and add in, go to front layer. Now, it kills you. Oh no way. Oh. Um in the flag clicked set closet to zero. So now it'll kill you, but if you get in the closet. Um
maybe we can just delete that. Huh. That's weird. Well, it works, but... Maybe press go forward one layer on the rush. No. Go forward another layer. Actually, no. Wait, instead of doing a costume, I'm so sorry, guys, if I'm doing this complicated. You know how the second costume on the costume thing was like this? Copy that. Delete the costume. Make another sprite. And put that costume into there. Okay, so now you have closet and then the inside of the closet. So, delete this closet. And now do when flag clicked forever, if else, if closet. Equals zero. If equals zero, hide, hide, hide. I said hide, hide, and show. Go to front layer. serious right now I said go to back layer go to don't go to front layer take the go to front layer out Wait, did it work let's see okay rush doesn't work why is that oh it did work wait did it Yeah, rushed work. Okay. So now, I'm just gonna make him bigger, even though he goes on the ground. It looks cooler. Why does it do that? There we go. I guess we can't do front layer, do back layer. Okay, yeah, do a back layer. So now, when this sprite clicked on the this one, the in closet one, when this sprite clicked, if closet, if closet equals, if closet equals one, I'm going to get this closet sound into that. What happened? There we go. Okay. Okay, so um when the sprite clicked if closet equals one. If closet equals one. Start sound closet. So. Start sound closet hide. And also, um, 
set closet to zero. Let's go, it works now. So just do that code, copy that code. If you didn't watch the whole thing, copy that code. And you have to get this for a costume sprite. Get a costume for a closet and just copy that code. Oh, and also add a go to. And then the rush, just copy that code if you didn't watch the whole thing. And then the last one, you could just, you don't have to do anything. So, yeah, if you just want to copy this code and don't want to watch the whole thing, that's all the code. That one. That one. That one. The only thing you're going to have to do by yourself is the full one. But, yeah, that's how to make a rush AI. I just hide this. Save project. And try it. So, as you see, if we stay there, we die by rush. But, if we go in the closet... good and yeah guys that's how to make a rush ai in scratch